roses are definitely the most popular flower. I think they're a flower of love. They smell great and they're beautiful too, so. Valentines across the state are in search of the best roses in town. At Willow Oak Flower and Herb Farm in Severn, Maryland, you can find some of the state's most beautiful, fragrant roses and more. Heather Carr is a fourth generation horticulturalist. My great grandparents bought the farm back in the 20s and they had animals and my mom started the actual nursery flower shop in 79. Three and a half years ago, Heather's mother hung up her gardening gloves and passed the shears to her daughter. I always envisioned myself here. It doesn't feel like a job. I love coming to work every day. I grew up on the farm and we used to run down the hill and play in the pond, run around the woods. We'd build forts around here and I'd always help out with whatever I could in the gardens. The farm has been here for five generations now, including my son. Silas seems to be interested in the farm. I'm gonna make an arrangement? Sure. Great. He likes to help out with cutting some things and making some arrangements. And we cut all of these this morning. So we have a great selection to use. How's yours going? Good. Good. And these are a nice representation of what we have in the gardens for summer, a nice summer arrangement. Silas already shows potential as a young horticulturalist as he follows in his mother's footsteps one petal at a time. A rose is a rose is a rose, or is it? Heather and her team at Willow Oak Farm might make it look easy, but don't be fooled, growing the perfect rose is no easy task. Roses are pretty temperamental, takes a lot of fertilizer and pruning to keep a rose happy. They'll kind of bloom really nice in June, and then you have to keep feeding and deadheading them to keep them blooming and happy through the summer. The varieties that we use, they're nice and fragrant, and they have lots of petals. They open wide. They're just really pretty and a little different than your typical rose. So we cut and use our roses in our arrangements June through July, August, I would say, and in the winter, we get them in. They just don't grow in our climate that time of year. Valentine's Day, we do have to get them in. They come in from Ecuador for the most part. We trim them and get them in water, and then we'll mix them with our greens that we grow here. Although Maryland winters are too harsh for roses, business doesn't slow down for this flower farm. Last year, the farm sold almost 200 dozen Valentine's Day rose arrangements. Customers also appreciate the farm's environmentally friendly approach. Willow Oak Farm is committed to organic and chemical-free horticulture. The farm also grows most of the flowers and greenery used in their arrangements. We try to use most of what we grow, and people are more, I would say, accepting now of some flowers not being quite perfect if they know it's been grown here. The farm also offers customers a chance to step away from their busy schedule to stop and smell the roses. We love it when people come out and walk around and spend some time here and get into the gardens and everything. People will spend hours in the garden and we love it. Maryland Valentines will surely wander to Willow Oak year after year for fragrant flowers and radiant roses. Thanks for watching Maryland Farm and Harvest. We hope you liked the video. Make sure to subscribe so you won't miss out on future videos. To learn more about our show and watch full episodes, check out mpt.org farm or just click the link in the description.